So we're gonna start. Oh, you good? What are you planting, Trip? Uh, this is just dirt. You're just playing in dirt. <laughs> <laughs> some hold on lettuce. Hold on lettuce. Hold on, that's a cool word. You should look into it. Oh. Holistic. Hold on. What are you planting? Mizuna. I laid them. Mm -hmm. You said to break this apart like that? Yeah, it kind of loosened the roots. Hey everyone, this is Derek and it is Monday morning here at the Freethinker House. Just showed you a quick wrap up of what we did yesterday, Sunday. For those who don't know, Sunday, every Sunday is our regular gardening day. Of course, we're going to be gardening throughout the week, but you can come here every Sunday in the morning to the afternoon and we usually have food. I'm just hanging out doing gardening projects. Yesterday we planted this kale, different kinds of lettuce, uh, mustard greens, and we started the medicine wheel, which is nearly done now. We dug up the, the earth and we laid down the bricks pointing directly north, south, east, and west. And now we just have to finish tilling that, getting the weeds out of there. There's actually not many weeds, but just getting all the roots and grass out of there and then laying the ground flat. And we're gonna fill that with herbs as well. And it'll be like an herbal spiral slash sacred spiritual gathering place for people to come. I'm thinking about putting a little, um, I've done this in the past, like a little tin or something in the center and burying that so that you can come and like leave your prayers or your thoughts right there in the middle and keep that with us in the garden and bring all those good vibes. <clears throat> so I just wanted to just give this brief update so you could see what we did this weekend and let you know what we have coming up. We're gonna be expanding the garden, doing the trail from the front porch out to the middle area to meet the, uh, the medicine wheel. And actually, we hit our first hiccup this morning and, I, and we'll have an update on this very soon, but I got a text message yesterday from the landlord saying, um, asking if we could basically stop the garden not go further closer to the front of the house and we definitely have plans to go to the front of the house we want to do some front yard gardening so I told him that we could talk and meet this morning and see how we can figure things out he also said something about us howling late at night oops that might have been me um, but we're gonna work it out regardless and this is how we show you guys the updates right we're gonna show you what doesn't work what trouble we get into what roadblocks we find and how we overcome them and how we move forward so thank you so much to everyone who's been supporting us this is the fourth update these will be coming probably twice a week we'll probably get settled on a regular day pretty soon but right now we're just doing them as they come and if you want to support us further you can go to patreon.com slash freethinkerhouse and support us on a monthly basis we've already got three supporters thank you everybody who's supporting us i think we're at 25 dollars a month and that will allow us to continue to do these projects and one last thing i want to mention for those who might not yet get it this Freethinker House is a project of the Houston Freethinkers, but it's also a project trying to put into action the ideas of Freedom Cells. And if you haven't yet heard me talk about Freedom Cells or seen the videos, go to freedomcells.org to find out more information. Essentially, we're showing how small groups of people can create wealth, community wealth, can create independence, can create strong relationships and bonds and a fulfilling life in general by coming together and focusing on common goals. So this house is an experimentation of that concept and I really hope that you guys will look more into it. So thank you for supporting us. Keep following us on Facebook. Follow us at youtube.com slash Houston Freethinkers for all the video updates and we'll talk with you soon.
Peace. Just one other quick update right here. You see these fruit from the cactus right here, these guys? They look pretty ripe and ready, so we're gonna end up harvesting these so that we can make prickly, uh, prickly pear kombucha or just eat them. I don't know, but this is just another thing that we found here that's growing on our property is these pickly pear fruit. There's also a pomegranate tree right there, so we're definitely gonna make use of what's available on the property.